Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Georgia Transparency and J-Town Press, where they go to Jefferson County, Alabama to a courthouse, start a bunch of drama, and make up baseless lies against the staff there. But before we start today's video, as always, a big special thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous support, we couldn't have the amazing growth that this channel has. And I want to thank all of you personally for getting me to the huge milestone of 5,000 subscribers. But if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Yeah, just anywhere in public. I mean, I'm not going to the courtroom or anything. I can't come in this building. Of course you can. Uh, of course you can, sir. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Why not? Because. Because why? This is a court of law. This is not. You go out, out and go get any other building. We'll go to the chief in this one or that one down there. The stairs. Is this a federal building? No, it's not a federal building. It's a county. Oh, then I would like to come in and check out the public areas of the building then. Can't Why not? You can't bring cameras in here. Of course you can, sir. No, you cannot. I'm telling you, you can. Actually, the security guard is right. If this courthouse has a judicial notice or an administrative order put out by the chief judge for the building saying that cameras are not allowed, then they can do that. They are providing you the means to film outside, and you are filming in the public lobby at this point before you enter the security checkpoint. However, if you refuse to cooperate with them, they can ask you to leave. And well, let's see what happens next. I'll take you to my supervisor. Yeah, you might want to do that. Because we've already had uh, commotion with people taking cameras. I don't care. I don't care about other people. Sir, don't pull your gun out on me. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my, god, oh, oh my god. Seriously? Oh, sh seriously, dude? That's the best place. Stay up there. Get your fucking supervisor here. Are you cussing me? Get your supervisor. Turn. Sir. No, sir. Uh uh. Turn again. No, sir. Oh, fuck, come on. Call 911. Call 911. Uh, hey! Hey! Come here! Come here! Come, I need help. I need help right now. I need help. Seriously. I need freaking help. I need help. He said he's going to shoot me. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Now, we're going to have to call the biggest load of shenanigans in this channel's history because the security officer did not say he was going to shoot him he said and listen to the words if he had to draw his firearm he would shoot him the big difference is the placement of the word if it's not a direct saying that he will do it it's a pretty much a fictitious statement Russell is the one who brought up any mentions of a firearm being used in the beginning of this. This is nothing more than a tactic by the frauders to try to make law enforcement and the security look bad. These two already have a history in Jefferson County, Alabama for starting stuff at the courthouses. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that they were trespassed from a courthouse in Jefferson County already. Inside! Yes, yes, he said he's going to shoot me and kill me. You're lying. 
Oh, I said that. I think you're lying. Please, I need f***ing help. Oh, I'm going to put handcuffs on you. No, you're not. Get, please, I need help. I need help. I need freaking help. You will get here here again? Louie. Yeah, that's both of y'all. I remember y'all. I don't care, dude. No. Yeah, I remember y'all. And I've been in there. Louie. Yes, they are recognized by the security guard because earlier this year, I covered a video where they did go to a Jefferson County courthouse and were trespassed and kicked out. Now, I am not sure if they have a trespass order from all the courthouses unless they are there for official businesses, but I will check into it. However, I am going to be issuing a trigger warning. The security guard is about to apprehend Lana for being on the property while filming, and it does get kind of graphic. If you're sensitive to this nature, I understand if you want to skip ahead. Hey. Oh shit! Uh -oh. Oh my God. Hey, help! Oh my God. Help! Help! Oh my God. Hey, get him! Hey. Oh he God. grabbed hey. her! Help! 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 Help me! Let go of my stuff! Get him! He, says, he can't do that! Get off my stuff! Get off my stuff! Dude! Get off my stuff! Get off my stuff! What the heck? He's grabbing all of my stuff! Get off my arm! Get off my stuff, motherfucker! Hey, what, what, what the f was up with him? What is up with him? Get back. I will defend myself. One more time. One more time. You touched her. Grab me, motherfucker. Yes, he did grab her, only to detain her because you two are in violation of three of the points of Alabama Statute 13A 11 7 disorderly conduct. A person commits the crime of disorderly conduct if, with the intent to cause a public inconvenience, annoyance or an alarm or regularly creates a risk thereof he or she does any of the following two making unreasonable noise three in public places using abusive or obscene language or making obscene gestures four without lawful authority disrupts a lawful assembly or meeting of people of persons i'm sorry seeing as you're both being loud and screaming and making tons of noise and attempting to misuse 911 resources, you guys could be in violation of Alabama's disorderly conduct law and you could be facing jail time. Get off me! I will defend myself. I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. No, sir, please. No. Sir, no. sir, no. can you get him off no. me? No. Sir, can you get him off me? No. I sir, no. sir, I'm, e no. I'm existing in a public place with a camera working on a story. I'm a journalist. He Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. And just remember, anyone who calls himself a journalist is a He's flipping out and trying to arrest me. Birds are real. Did you see him grab me? I didn't see what happened. He just grabbed me by the damn hair, sir. No, I literally I walked that, but up. I didn't see what happened. What, hey, I need an ambulance, please. We got we got okay, I need an ambulance, please. Hey, what's what's going on? I was hey, sir, recording on Mr. the street, Hines, and Mr. I was literally about the same from here to this that falls under y'all because he's threatening my friend with a gun. He just said that he was okay. going to pull out his hey, gun and hey, shoot him. Hey, do me a favor, just stand he back. He grabbed the back of hey, my just, hair. Just stand back off the street till we get some some understanding, okay? This, he just, he just grabbed me by the back of my hair and I think he ripped through my hair. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in, uh, right now, I think you might have we're in Birmingham. Here he comes again, here he comes again! Please protect me! This officer just threatened to shoot me and kill me in public for filming. And he just, he just put his hands on, uh, J-Town. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling even more shenanigans. Russell, at what point did he say he was going to unalive you? He only stated if he had to draw his firearm, he would use it. Not that he was going to unalive you. Those are your words to make the situation look worse than it already is. 
And as it comes to the situation of him detaining Lana and grabbing her by the back of the hair, it wasn't to try to harm her. It's because she tried to evade him detaining her by crouching down and locking his arm. So he used a tactic to get her to release his, her grip off of his arm. Now, you can take it up in the chain of command and try to take it to court, but your own camera shows that you guys escalated the situation. Not only that, your own actions and words Press, he just put his hands on her Sir, no, right. in public. I think he just pulled my hair out. That's the, that, that's that's a crime. Okay. I want to press charges. Hey, I'm not on the street. Press press can I Chief? Oh my God, are you his supervisor? Are you the supervisor? I need to talk to you, please. I, can I tell you what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you what happened? I have it on film, too. You've got it on film. So my, my friend here went in there. Well, hold on. No, no. I, I was here. Let me tell you my first part first. I first, I walked in here, and I walked up to the security checkpoint, and uh, he told me I couldn't film or take any pictures in there or something. So once I disagreed with him, he got very loud with me and told me he was going to shoot me, and then he chased me. May not have happened. Me out the door with handcuffs trying to no, arrest me. Got nothing to do with y'all having a good day. Wait, Berman said so who's going to you? You're not going to. Did that world. happen out here? Did it happen? It happened right here. Outside. outside? Well, inside he threatened to shoot me. Liar! Yeah, outside he was chasing me with handcuffs to put me in jail for trying to do a report. Because we don't have anything to do with Jeff's cow. So even though this man is threatening to shoot me. One, two, one. one. Can I get a sheriff's deputy, please? Yeah, we'll have to get the so No, nah, we're going to get an attorney is what we're going to get. Okay, so what happened was he was standing about right where this, this first white square is. I was I walked across the street. He goes out there. We and did. He said, you need to. The deputies need to handle it. their jurisdictions for the adults. Okay. You step outside. You are not going to get in danger. You don't want to get in danger. Step outside and call in there. I'm calling in I'm freezing cold. Okay, step outside now. You can go back to your car again. Boom. Roasted. You need to step outside. If I don't, what's going to happen? Step outside. So if I don't leave, it's going to happen? Oh, I'm going to go down and get a warrant for you for uh, so you gonna arrest for, for, for disobeying a lawful order. So, so I'm going to be arrested. Right. For disobeying a lawful order. Okay, so I'm going to be arrested. Disobeying a lawful order. I'm not debating you. So you're you arrest me if I don't leave? Step outside. I'll Do I have to go too, sir? Step outside. What's your name? Can I get your name, sir? Yeah. I mean, is it locked? I think it's locked. Did they lock it? Can I get your name, sir? Can I get your name, sir? There you go, sir. I think it's the other door. Are we locked in? You can step outside. You I can't. We're locked in. Please don't shoot me, dude. Please don't freaking shoot me. Can I get your get name, your hair sir? Come on, step Come on. outside. Can I get your name, sir? Do I have to go out, too? But we're in public. I'm working on a story. I know. We'll try to get your hair combed so you look decent. Can I get your name, sir? Y'all just earned a. Y'all may have just earned a freaking lawsuit. Can I get your name, sir? You identify? Can I get your name, sir? Wow. I just threat him arrest. We're gonna end the video here. As we can clearly see, these two idiots will do anything to get the clicks and views they are so desperately needed. Not to mention, we have finally met an officer that's worthy of the Pete Barnes Award. He did not take crap from these two and did not do anything wrong in my opinion. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I will see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all members of the news scene. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to personally thank all of you from the bottom of my heart.